This is the MHS Podcast, the online radio voice of Metuchen High School. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Metuchen High School Podcast, the online radio voice of MHS. I'm Eddie Kalegi. A brand new school year, 2019-20, and just like last year, we'll kick it off with the Mud Run, a big event, third annual, helped out by the Marissa Tufaro Foundation. It's a fun day. I'm standing here watching all kinds of stuff going on. Looks like a fireman has a hose and spraying all the kids that are trying to do the fireman crawl through the mud, which is one of the more grueling uh, of the obstacles here, which I've heard from people in the past. But a fun show today. We're going to talk to Greg Tafaro and Mr. Paragallo to get their respective ends when it comes to the Metuchen Mud Run. And you can also follow us on Twitter at MHS Podcast to see some photos from the event as well. But without further ado, let's get into it. And we'll start with an interview here with Mr. Paragallo. It's great to be joined today on the Mud Run for the second straight year by Principal Mr. Paragallo. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Eddie. Good to see you. So the first thing I wanted to talk about that I noticed last year and this year is one of those days at the school where everybody, the people participating in the mud run and not, are all smiling. Everybody's happy. It's really a great day to bring the whole community together here in Metuchen. It is. It's almost like a, uh, a celebration at the uh, at the high school. And, um, you know, I, Mr. Cathcart's been working very hard to put this together. Uh, we have a number of new obstacles. And, you know, it kind of encompasses what number one athletics is all about but also you know what life is all about i mean there there are going to be obstacles in life and you got to deal with them Mm -hmm. and um you know sometimes you can do them by yourself other times you need some help and i think that's what this day is all about and um i always look forward to it and i look forward to the enthusiasm of our of our students and you're right they all have smiles on their faces they're ready to go Mm -hmm. so having some help that kind of looks towards the teamwork and while teamwork is key in the mud run let's also talk about the teamwork that you mr cathcart miss mccorkle everybody has to put together to get this whole mud run set up because this all the obstacles you mentioned and so many other things all go in you see the police here everybody else it's really a big day even for you guys in the administration yeah there's a lot of coordination with the uh, the police, the fire, and um, the uh, EMTs, and it's so great that they're here. And I, you know, I really want to thank them. But we do have an organizational meeting where we sit down with them to go over the logistics of what's happening. You know, we have this coordination meeting so they know what what's happening in the layout, get maps and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I have to give a lot of credit to John Cathcart. He's worked extremely hard in putting this together along with uh, Ms. McCorkle. But, um, you know, the, I, you know I, I'm so in favor of this because of the fact that, you know, I talk about uh, our students being independent and the importance of being independent. Today, not only are they going to be independent, but they've got to work as a team. And, you know, they've got to talk, they've got to collaborate. And um, that's what happens in school. In school, sometimes, you, you know, you need help. Mm-hmm. And um, it's not always easy. And certainly in athletics, um, most of our sports are all team sports. So needless to say, you need to have that, that good teammate and somebody who you can rely on and be supported by to do what needs to be done. So last thing, I imagine you've seen some of the obstacles all around. Which one are you most excited to see the students tackle? Or try to tackle, might I say? There's a um, there's a new one uh, that's between the wings that I know Mr. Cathcart uh, worked on during the summer. So I'm going to be curious to see how, how that one goes over. And, uh, you know, I always love the... Um, the um, I always love the one that's down in the far corner of the football field. There's about five different obstacles there, and it's just kind of fun to watch the kids. First, they just come out of the mud, and then they've got to be faced with that. So I think any time they're coming out of the mud and facing the next obstacle, that's that's a challenge. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we'll definitely have to look after those. Mr. Paragallo, thank you for joining us here in the Touchdown hey, School Thank you, podcast. and good luck in Williamsburg. Thank you. So- Continuing here on the Metuchen High School podcast, the online radio voice of MHS, I'm Eddie Kalegi, and I'm joined by Home News Tribune, Courier News, sports reporter, and a lot of other things too. Greg Tafaro, thanks for stopping by. Great to be here, Eddie. Thank you. So this mud run would not be possible without the involvement of the Marissa Tafaro Foundation. Tell us a little about the origins of the foundation and how it became involved here with the mud run. Sure. Well, we're elated that this is the third year our nonprofit organization has been a beneficiary of this mud run and we can't thank the entire Metuchen school community enough. 
um, for, for providing us uh, with this opportunity. The Marissa Tafaro Foundation was established uh, just over two years ago in loving memory of my daughter Marissa, who unfortunately died at the age of 13 um, following a long illness. Marissa was born with a uh, congenital heart defect that required six open heart surgeries. Uh, all of them were successful, but after the six, she contracted uh, two life-threatening illnesses that necessitated a heart transplant. Uh, shortly after her heart transplant, Marissa contracted uh, a rare form of blood cancer that in inevitably claimed her life. Um, so the symbolism of this particular Proving Ground Team Building Challenge mud run is, you know, all these students and student athletes from Metuchen here overcoming obstacles, Eddie. And, uh, uh, you know, Marissa had a lot of obstacles in her life. So it's, uh, in a way, a, a fitting uh, metaphor uh, for, for Marissa's life struggles. Yeah, so it definitely reflects everything that Marissa went through. Now, I wanted to ask, what else does the foundation get involved with aside from the mud run? Great question, Eddie. The, the foundation's mission is to benefit pediatric patients and other children in need throughout the entire greater Middlesex County area. And as I stated earlier, uh, since the foundation's inception just two years ago, we've already donated more than $100,000 to help children in need. And we could not never have done this without the support of every school in the greater Middlesex Conference, of course, including Metuchen. Um, there are many other fundraising events that take place during the course of the academic year. Um, there's a swim-a-thon, there's a bowling tournament, the GMC All-Star basketball and baseball games donate proceeds from those events to our nonprofit and countless other uh, endeavors. So as parents, my wife Cindy, who is an elementary school principal at James Monroe down the road here in Edison Township, um, we are so blessed and we don't take a penny or a single second of a volunteer's time for granted because uh, this this conference and countywide commitment allows Marissa's legacy to be one of, of giving back and helping others. And what a better way to, to honor Marissa's memory. Sure. So one last thing. We didn't talk about it actually last year. Your sports writing career, you're writing for the Home News Tribune, Courier News. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, well, this is actually my 30th year covering high school and college sports for the Home News Tribune, the Courier News, and MyCentralJersey.com. And it's really been a privilege, Eddie, to meet wonderful young men and women like yourself, too, and having been afforded the opportunity to tell some compelling human interest stories that transcend the playing field. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I don't look at, at my career as a job. Um, I look at it as a labor of love, and, and uh, you know, I get excited about having the opportunity to work every day and and i love the change of seasons uh, you never get bored and there's always something happening in central jersey sports eddie so it's, it's really fun all right greg thanks for taking the time and enjoy the rest of the mud run thank you so much eddie and i'd be remiss if i didn't wish you the best of luck how proud i am of you to see you rise through the ranks and i know that you'll be broadcasting live on espn to the little league world series uh, uh later next week so best wishes to you eddie thank you very much greg that's about all the time we have for the first MHS podcast of the year. Thank you to everyone who helped out and to Mr. Paragallo and Greg Tafaro for taking some time out of their busy days to get interviewed. It's a really fun day. If you haven't checked out the Mud Run before, it's really fun to watch and fun to participate in for all the students. You see the teamwork and camaraderie that comes not just with the students, but also with the administration and everything, all the strings they have to pull to set this up. It's a really fun day. We are also uploading a slideshow of pictures not doing as much of a full thing as last year, but you can see those pictures on Twitter and some more. We're putting up a slideshow on the YouTube channel as well. Our first regular show of the year won't be up until the school year begins, so stay tuned for that. Remember to follow us on Twitter at MHS Podcast for all news regarding that. So once again, one other thing I wanted to mention, as Mr. Paragallo and Greg Tafaro both touched on, I will be heading to Williamsport to commentate on the Little League World Series on ESPN2 Wednesday night at 7.30, so I'm very excited about that. We're excited to be bringing back the whole team again for another good year of the podcast as well. So I'll see everybody then. And last thing, if you're interested in sponsoring the podcast, just let us know. Email us, mhspodcast at gmail.com. You can get a full commercial and everything made up. So that's all the time we have. I'm Eddie Kalegi. This is the Metuchen High School Podcast, the online radio voice of MHS. We'll see you when the school year begins in September 2019. 19.